everybody and welcome welcome to kingdom come deliverance now i know what you'll be saying those of you that have uh, watched you know at least for the past couple of years you'll be saying you have done a kcd series you've done a kingdom come delivery uh, deliverance um, stream series you stream the game from start to finish pretty much and you will be quite correct in that assessment however one of the games that i was looking forward to playing again when i got my new computer was this one when i played it the first time round, it didn't agree with my computer at the time i had to play it in 1080 uh, p 1920 by 1080 resolution i had to play it on high uh, settings with some turned down to medium and also HDR textures off it really wasn't I mean the game wasn't very well optimized and anyway but my computer for whatever reason really didn't like the game at all so I had to play the game really really sort of dumbed down if you will so now being able to play it in ultra high graphic settings with a silky smooth hundred plus frames for the most part and being able to have the HDR textures on so that this game looks absolutely fantastic graphically in itself is a massive uplift for me compared to playing it the previous time. So that got me thinking, I want to play this again. And I want to play it in a specific style. Now bear with me on this one. First of all, I've watched the DLCs that have all come out since I've last played this and none of them interest me. Uh, so we're not, we're not having any DLCs. I've got a couple of mods on. Um, one of the mods is the save anywhere. You've got to be able to do that as a, as a, as a you know when you're recording your videos. The second one is the um, renaming the items for the inventory sorting, making it easier to see which items are, uh, you can equip where. And the third one is I've kept the reticle on for the archery, just because I'm playing with a control pad and. I might turn that off to be fair, but um, just just to make things a little little bit easier with archery, because I'm going to try archery a hell of a lot more in this playthrough than in the previous one, because I want this to be a different playthrough. I don't want the Henry to be the same kind of Henry as last as the last time. So there's going to be some subtle differences in what he gets up to and how he approaches things compared to previous uh, the previous stream series. But the main difference with this playthrough is it's something that I'm trying for the first time and this is an impromptu series which is kind of funny because this is going to be a long series so to, 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 to kind of record this at a whim to then carry this on for probably the best part of 12 months is quite a decision but what I'm going to be doing is this is going to be a comp well from you can tell from the title it's going to be a role play now I do a lot of role play anyway so it's like what's the difference this is going to be an in-character roleplay at all times. I'm going to be voice. Uh, I can't. Obviously, Henry's got a voice, which is a slight pain for this. But um, I'm going to be voicing my thoughts as, as Henry, my comments as Henry. Everything that I say in this playthrough will be in character. There will be very, very rarely out of character commentary. I will be taking in all of the scenery as best I can, the sights doing things for roleplay reasons, basically taking Henry through the game as a as he is, as a, as a blacksmith's boy to start with, in this lovely, lovely place. <laughs> Give or take uh, a couple of issues, such as, you know, marauding Coomans. But yeah, so it's going to be slow, it's going to be roleplay. I'm kind of using this as a relaxing session. When I record these, it's to, it's, to, it's to relax. And hopefully when you're watching this, you can watch this when you're feeling a bit like you need a bit of downtime. Just tune into this. Watch the slow pace. Watch the role play. Hopefully, maybe coming across things that other people don't notice in the game because they're too busy rushing through doing things. I might see things and appreciate things in a slightly different way. You might watch this and see a different twist to this game. I'm hoping is the is the is the key here is the, is what I want to achieve. So sit back, relax, enjoy this, because um, I know I'm going to. It's going to be a long one, but um, I, it's going to be a fun one. So this is let's role play. K 
kingdom come deliverance. And I'll play a normal mode. I didn't know what the difference is, to be honest with you. But I don't want to die all the time. Anyway, this is me done. In character for the rest of the series. <laughs> See you later. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up, then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Uh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world and... Um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. 
Well, I hope you didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't you? What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, Ma. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Mother. You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the fort on to you one day soon. You've been courting that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. <sighs> okay. Breakfast. And then work. <sighs> oh. Oh. Let's have a look what we've got here. Ooh. Oh, I don't fancy lentil soup this morning. That's some bread. I'm hungry. I don't want any apples either. I think uh, some nice bread dipped in to some of this lovely stew should. Help soak up that alcohol from last night. Okay. That's right, it's a nice day outside. Oh god, better go and help him. <laughs> I'm gonna be in big trouble. Teach me to drink too much. Come here, I need your help. Oh, I'm here, Father. At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, 
and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunes, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasso. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Okay. Well, cross guard. What did he say? Cross guard. Kunesh. Charcoal ale. Morning. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. <laughs> See you later! <sighs> ale on me. If they believe that, they'll believe anything. <laughs> right. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to this. Kunesh. This is bound to end in tears. Indeed I am, or I'll have nothing to smelt the ore with. And the king won't get his silver. <laughs> Which king do you mean, oh. Tobia? The one mm. in some godforsaken dungeon. I think Kunesh can wait. Hey! Hey, Pip! Do you want to learn something? Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Woohoo! Round two. Okay. I will do better this time. I cannot go back to mother with my other hand in a bandage. Okay. Morning! I mean, perhaps it isn't the best idea <laughs> to be training so close to my house. But hey.
So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Okay, here we go. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Move it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. All right. All right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Unpredictability. Moving and unpredictability. Okay, here we go. Okay. Right. That's it. Okay. Alright. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Stab. Now you're getting it. Not bad. Again. Good. Once again. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Okay. Not bad. Again. Again. Good. Once again. Not bad. Again. Oh. That's enough. Huh? I don't know about you, huh? but I'm tired of thirsty. What do we train hard? No one if... becomes a master swordsman overnight. No, no one will become a master swordsman if their lessons only last thirty seconds. Oh, we were just getting started. God damn it! I was enjoying that. Oh well. Kunish. Oh my. It's a pity I can't take my wooden training sword to him. That'll get him to pay up. I'll be civilized. I'll be civilized. Maybe he's not drunk so much this morning. I thank you for your time. Safe travels. Right, okay. Kunesh! Oh. Kunesh! God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard! Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Look, I know things aren't easy. The wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. If I had anything to give, I'd give it. But I've got nothing. So leave me in peace, all of you. And don't come back. <sighs> well? That is... Uh... In my opinion, forfeited goods.
Can't pay your debts. You don't have the privilege of using the tools. God. <laughs> See you, Kunish. Welcome, Henry. Good morning. Right, I need to sell this. To pay for the charcoal. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. And you. Good health to you. I know it's not your usual, but, uh, okay. Nope, you won't purchase it. This fine axe here. Okay. Baskets for goods and torches for the night. I have it all. Greetings. Aha. How much were you give to two Groshen? Two Groshen? It's not going to be enough to pay for the charcoal, is it? I'm going to need some more of the... Some more of Kunish's equipment that he owes us money for. Oh, I'll get to that later. Good day. Good day. How much is it for ten pieces of charcoal? Five Groshen. Okay. Thank you. Five Groshen. Look, <sighs> Kunesh. Ignores me. Selective hearing. Hang on a second. Whilst he's looking for water, it's got to be lying around here somewhere. Things hmm. that. Uh, a locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. Damn. Damn. How hard can it be to get some money out of this man? He uses it for heaven's sake. How are you, Henry? I've been better, I tell you. Whatever you do, make sure you get your money up front before anybody takes your goods away. Can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope. God be with is you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? 
And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund. And don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? The two are my view. We should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlor manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But <sighs> doing some turns will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratic sort. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuner shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right. Let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. All right. Yeah, just rough him up a bit. That'll, uh, that'll get the job done. So he's fiddling around with locked uh, <coughs> lock picks. Hmm. Got grief. I can smell it from here. Okay, boys, what's the plan? So, are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Henry, I'm glad you came. <sighs> clever one. <clears throat> I shall keep my cupboards to myself on that one. Oh, how can you be sat here with this smell? What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard. That sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the popes! He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Oh. Okay. I say, my friends, the coast is clear. Soldier, fire the trebuchet for king and country. 
for king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund. Woohoo! Eat shit, Dodgers. You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunts! Let's make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! Oh! Oh! Hey! You get my gun! Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh! 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 Cunt. Come on, Fritz! Ow! Ooh! Pole. Quick! Run! Run! Bloody hell. That escalated a bit. Well done, Henry. <laughs> Quickly! <gasps> so it's a good thing a catch pole's unfit. Oh! Says me. Wait for me. God be with you, Henry. God be with me. That's a day, love. This is not what I anticipated doing today. How do I look? Do I, do I have bruises all over my face? Oh god. <laughs> that mother's gonna kill me. Look, we need to make a story up, okay? Uh, I'll think of something. Wait a second, wait a second. Let me uh, just wash myself off here. I'd say we got away with it, but, uh, well, we were seen. <laughs> I think, uh, I think we're going to be in a spot of bother here. But anyway, what's done is done. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. 
<sighs> Listen, there's this locked chest I need to get into. Really? An honest tray not good enough for you anymore? It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin off my nose anyway. I've got some lock picks you can have. But if you get caught, you didn't get them from me. Yeah, <laughs> never heard of you. Thanks, Fritz. <sighs> right. Lock picks or another face fire. I think we've had enough uh, face stick offs for one day. Oh, it's going against water. Look, this is perfect timing. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Kunish. Okay. Uh, let's see. I haven't done this for a while. Alright, here we go. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, God. I had it. Oh God. One more try, otherwise this is gonna to have to go. Oh damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Are they still here? Oh. God save. Okay. I <laughs> I couldn't pick the lock. I think we're gonna have to resort to plan B. I need a hand with Kunesh. Show me. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Here he comes. Look, don't seriously injure him, all right? We just need to rough him up a bit. <clears throat> Kunesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. Yeah, put your water down. Let's talk. I think he's ignored us. <laughs> it's like we weren't even here. What's he doing? Oi, Kunesh! Did you hear me? What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Oh god, here we go again! Oh. Just as I... No! Oh. Come on! Oh my god! Just look, take it easy, lads! Take it easy! Enough! Enough! I give up! Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? You drove me to this, Kunesh. You just paid your debts. If I could have just picked the lock, <laughs> this could have been avoided. <sighs> right. Aha! Hammer, nails, and axe. This should certainly cover the cost of the charcoal. Sorry about that, Kunesh. Here. Take your, uh, take your key back. <sighs> well, he didn't get a blow on me, so, uh, hopefully, I'll be nice and spick and span for mother, she won't know a damn thing. 
Rags, fabric, brocade, satin. You'll find I think it that's all, all I need. Here's your change. You, Thanks for your custom. Lace, linen, and silk. Come right up and take some home. Good day. Good day, sir. Right, I got some things to sell you. I have some nails, a hammer, an axe, and a lockpick. Don't ask why I got that. <laughs> you don't need to know. Can we do something about the price? Sure, why not? <clears throat> Never accept the first price. Okay. I'm thinking 10.2 Russian. What about this? That's better. Drop it a bit more and we'll call it a deal. 9.9. .9. Okay, what about round 10? Finally, a reasonable sum. I thank you kindly. Linen, delicate velvet, beautiful and functional. Asparagus that'll cut God. you in half and cucumbers that'll cure what ails you. Nice. Right, I'll take that ten uh, charcoal now. I have the, I have the coin. Let's talk about the price. Why not? But, uh, if you could just drop your price a little bit, how about four point eight? See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Excellent, excellent. All right, uh, five point two groschen left. That'll be uh. That'll be uh, useful this evening in the tavern. Maybe the drinks will be on me after all. Huh. Right, speaking of drinks. Bianca! Ha! Bianca! God save, Henry! God save! How are you doing? God save, my lovely! You're looking well today! <laughs> you too, handsome! What brings you here? Your beauty, of course! <laughs> oh, noble sir! I'm as honored as any simple maid can be! And. Apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> You can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyak? I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Pal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Sabir Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. <laughs> May the Lord watch over you, Henry. Oh. Well, it's going to be a fun evening. Oh, oh dearie me. 
Well, I better get this back to father quickly before it goes warm. Otherwise my head will be for the chopping block. Good day! Ooh. Quite tempting to have a sip of this ale right now myself. It's been a long morning. Right, okay. <clears throat> Straight my clothes here. Don't want to look like I've been in a bloody fight. Two fights, in fact. Right. Okay. I'm back, Father. I have everything you asked for. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Look at that, lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Oh, damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. Uh. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught, making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Right. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? 
Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. Father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Oh, okay. <laughs> Morning, Teresa. <sighs> oh dear. Pretty Daisha. Nails. <sighs> that will do. Go and get those damn nails. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> My God. It only goes so fast. Sorry about that, Teresa. Here you go. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So that will do. Go and um, get those damn she's nails. Fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. Henry, what are you waiting for? Bring those beautiful. nails. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Then try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sven? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. 
It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. He certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isfah. Have a safe journey to Sasau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Huh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. Huh. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. And what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, you'll take care of him. He owes me.
Oh god, oh, oh, god. Oh. oh god, oh god, run, 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 It's a dream. It must be a dream. This 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 cannot be real. <gasps> Teresa, Teresa, <gasps> Teresa. Go to hell, you Get on, get on, get on. Run! Oh! Ow! Yeah. <sighs> 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 Oh my god, run! Come on, yeah. come on! Faster! Time back. Time back. Go, go, go! Oh. Come on, horse, damn it! Move yourself! Oh, oh God! Come on. Left. Halmer gets to the left along the street. Oh. People, you need to run Me, to Townburg. I don't know what's going on. God, like, God damn. My anchor. Mother, father. Run for it. Run, damn it, run. Come on, come on, go, 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 they'll kill you all. What's for big Sydney? Can I hear them behind me? Come on, horse, move it. How far is Talberg from here? Run, run, run. Oh, no. Don't stop now, horse! Keep, keep moving! Ah! Ah! Not now! Not now! Come on, you damn beast! Come on!
Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Who is that? I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um... I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. 
I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside. I can't understand why he broke his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey. Ah, milady. You're fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Filthy boots. I've been through bloody hell and back. Oh, so filthy. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Mantles. I hear you came from Skellister. Duck. It must have been terrible there. How did it happen? Uh, I'd rather not talk about it right now, if you don't mind. Okay, mentals. Uh, Ross Duck. Ah, yes. Bread. Uh, some cheese. Uh, I'll do. I'll do for now. Did she pour some wine? Uh, she did. Oh. Okay. Time to engorge oneself. I'm tired. Oh. Oh. I don't believe what's happening today. I don't believe it. I'm expecting to wake up from this nightmare soon enough. Keep my eyes open. I need to take it all in. Here it is. This is the bed that we're talking about, I think. All right. Oh, yes, and Mustn't forget these filthy boots. Filthy bloody boots. It's the least of my goddamn concerns right now. <laughs> Perhaps if I <laughs> drop asleep and I wake up, this. Nightmare will be over. <laughs> <laughs> 